saved our plats in motion or down in motion. Uh, that's the exercise in the routine for Shutsun IGP obedience. Um, and so today I want to show you how I start training for this and obviously the requirement that the dog needs already needs to know how to foos, how to heal with you and uh, the dog knows uh, command sit and command down in my case it's bloods and also the dog knows command stay and so that's how we start it's fairly easy if the dog knows all those commands it's fairly easy to put together but I'll show you how we do it and I'll explain what's done so uh, let me start come on Puss. So I start with very short distance and uh, first exercise is to actually understand, uh, okay, help under the dog understand that he needs to stay if you continue go anyway. So what I do is that we say heal, we heal, then he sits in the basic position and then I tell him to sit and I also say stay. And the stay command will eventually fade out and he will understand when I say sit means he needs to stay so it, it's in a way sit stay and then eventually it becomes sit and I walk a couple of steps and then I come back and reward him when I'm in the basic position and what I also do that's what I'll show you next is that I uh, reward him at a different point of time sometimes I reward when I'm walking away the reason being is that the dog needs to be attentive to you not to relax and think that it's like his break time when he's sitting in motion so he does not uh, you don't want him to be distracted you want him to be still focused on you even if you're walking away and the, if you remember the rules for the IGP Shutsun exercise for Platz command for the uh, down in motion command uh, it's a 30 steps away from the dog so the dogs tend to kind of start looking around scoot over or something you don't want this to happen so for that i always randomly reward the dog and i'll show you now how i do this come on sit push good push push options for how I reward the dog uh, one other thing you need to know I never reward the dog when I'm walking towards him reason being is that in a trial you don't want the dog to anticipate that reward might be coming now and start moving or actually stand up or run towards you so you don't want this so that's the only uh, direction that I don't reward when I'm walking towards the dog but I'm rewarding when I'm walking away when I'm standing there in a stand position so as you could see he was very attentive because we've done this a couple of times so now he knows though we have we're in the public park and there are dogs everywhere and people and he's actually looking at one dog right now but um, that's a very good exercise and you do exactly the same with plots let me show you the plots hey 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 come on Who's? Who's? Who's?
Let's. Let's. No. Let's. Good. Let's. Good. Let's. Sit. Push. Let's. Yes. Very good. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Good boy. So, with the plots command, with down command, out of healing, and the dogs, they tend to be very crooked with the front. I only reward when the dog is straight. And if the dog is straight going down, I reward it right away, just to show him that's what I want. And if he's crooked, I correct him, as you just saw. And uh, the rest is pretty much exactly the same. If he's straight, I walk away, I reward walking away or reward when I'm standing there. But I never recall the dog. Um, because the in motion exercises require recalling and I never do that together uh, the recall command is separate exercise for me always in training it's only uh, before the trial I might do it once together so the dog would run to me because I don't want the dog to anticipate running up to me uh, and being antsy a little bit and uh, break the position so for that reason in motion exercise are only about the dog staying in place and you walking away in different distances and rewarding the dog at different point of time so the dog is always attentive so that's for me is in motion exercise training happy training <laughs>